By the end of this lesson, each team should have planned at least one piece of social action that they want to undertake for their class charity. The beginning of this lesson is the reveal of the chosen class charity based on the vote from last lesson. Please get up the charity website on the board for the class to see and together find some key information about the charity for the class to fill out a class charity profile in their course books. This is an opportunity to bring everyone on board with the class's decision. Students will now watch a social action video. This will encourage them to think about what social action is and you should facilitate this discussion, helping them to identify the definition of social action. At First Give, we suggest the definition practical action taken to make a positive change in society. For example, fundraising or raising awareness. Don't take too long on this activity as students will need time to plan their social action this lesson. The class should then read through the two social action case studies in the course book. You can do this as a class or let them do it individually. Students have a series of questions to answer to help them to evaluate the effectiveness of the case study that they preferred. At the school final, the judges will be awarding 50% of the marks on the social action that the whole class have completed. The criteria for these marks are divided into commitment to the class charity, creativity of the class's social action, and the impact that they made through their social action projects. In their teams, the students should start by thinking about what they want to achieve through their social action. This will encourage them to focus on the outcome rather than just the activity that they'd like to do. The course book provides a clear planning structure to help them to be intentional with their planning. Students will think about what they want to achieve, i.e. changing attitudes to homeless people, how they could achieve that aim, i.e. by performing a play at the school summer concert, and how they will know if they've achieved their aim, i.e. what might be key indicators of their success. 100 people will see the play, raising at least £40 in donations, etc. Each team should plan at least one piece of social action to support their charity, and they will need to do their actions outside of the classroom. Make sure you check their plans before they start to ensure they're realistic and sensible. They complete these social action plans any time before the final. We obviously want students to be as creative and original as possible, but if students are stuck for ideas, there are some suggestions in the course book that they could use. At the end of this lesson, students should use the red, amber and green circles to reflect on their project planning and teamwork skills. Next lesson, students will receive some presentation skills training and will begin to plan their presentations.